I wanted to do a quick tutorial uh, using the FLIR camera. A lot of people have asked. Um, this is uh, grated cheese. Um, so we can see this, this cheese is completely done. You can see there's some cooler spots, but they're not cold per se. Um, but this is what we're looking for over here. Let me come over here. These are peach slices. And so I can take this peach slice, or pear, excuse me, pear slices. I'm going to open it up and you can see the temperature is pretty much the same um, through there. However, you can see we've got some dark spots here, like on this one. So if we zoom in there, you can see this one is clearly not done. You can see the ones that are versus the ones that aren't. Many times it's not this obvious. Um, sometimes you'll have to break them open. So if I break this open, you can really see the heat difference on the edge of that. That's staring at the center of that. If I turn it sideways, you can get a better idea of how that's actually looking on the camera and how that's clearly still frozen. Um, got some jalapenos back here, um, as well as some grated cheese here that's still really hot. But anyway, so this is basically what you're looking for um, when you're using a FLIR camera is really really cold spots and like I said um, when you crack it open you won't always see it depends how thick um, whatever it is you're doing you may have to crack it open to look down the center of it these are clearly um, still frozen um, which is clearly visible in the video on the outside um, as well as even colder on the inside so hopes that helps clear up some confusion